So there's nothing more rewarding than uh, enjoying a fresh fish dinner aboard your sailboat. But how do you go about doing it? I'm Lauren Mahoney with Spin Sheet Magazine, here with Mike from Anglers. Thanks for having me. Thanks for letting us be here. And uh, we're going to talk about some tips on how to do that. So a lot of sailors don't realize that going three to six knots on their sailboat is the ideal speed for trolling. So Mike, what would you recommend for rods and reels while, while sailing? So if you're going to be uh, going offshore, we suggest a 50 to 80 pound class rod here and either a 30 or 50 wide reel. Um, you can still use it on the bay or for smaller fish, but at least then if you hook something big, you're prepared for that and, and you're going to be able to put it in the boat. Now, if you're going to be staying on the bay, um, a rod like this, a 20 to 50 pound class rod with a 20 wide reel would be more than enough. Cool. Awesome. So a lot of sailors put their uh, rod in their flag holder, but what's a better solution for them? Right. So, um, so they have rail mount holders, which these do screw and clamp down and should hold up really well. This is probably the best option there is. There's also some that you can screw onto the boat, um, but the rail mount holder is probably the way to go. So then lore-wise, uh, a lot of people, especially the people we talk to, are people who are leaving Annapolis, so they're trolling out of the bay, they're going into the ocean, and they're going down south. So we like to try and give them lures that are going to be able to catch rockfish up here, but then also out in the ocean they're going to be able to catch mahi, tuna, different things like that. So um, great lure, stretch 25 or a stretch 30, which you can tie directly to and it's going to dive all by itself. That makes the rig very easy. Um, heavy weighted swim shads, anywhere from 7 to 9 inches. Um, with strong hooks on them are going to do both and um, tandem rigs as well. You'll be able to, to fish in, in both sets of water. Well, thank you so much. That's so helpful. And uh, for more tips and tricks, visit spinsheet.com or uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. had to grab Lauren before she ran out the door because I forgot about one of the best tips we have. So a lot of people either, you know, don't want to put a rod holder on the boat. You don't want to pay for these, you know, expensive trolling outfits. You just want to be able to throw a lure behind the boat and hope for the best. So um, this is a really great solution, especially if you're going on longer trips and whatnot. We, um, we'll actually set sailors up with either three or 400 pound mono, which you're going to tie directly to a cleat. And all you'll really have to do on the other end is put a snap swivel on it. We use a, um, a casting reel like this as the actual reel. Um, so essentially when a fish hits it, you're literally going to just pull the fish in. But it's a great solution for you know, $20 or $30 to be able to still catch you know, mahi, tuna, any, any of those kind of fish.